So we need to get rid of this square on the left-hand side. Again, we still need to isolate this by getting rid of the square. Well, we have to do the opposite. What's the opposite of squaring? The opposite of squaring something is taking the square root. So we need to take the square root of both sides. If you take the square root of the left-hand side, you'll figure out what the final velocity is. And now we have to take the square root of the right-hand side. Uh, but there's really two square roots. There's a positive square root and there's a negative square root. Now, on some problems, it makes sense to pay attention to both roots, and on some problems, it makes sense to pay attention to only one root. So what makes sense here? Well, we know that we want to know the velocity the instant before we hit the ground. We know that's going to be a downward velocity. We know we're going for a downward velocity, and since we chose down to be our positive direction, we know that the velocity should come out to be positive. So on this problem, it only makes sense to pay attention to the positive square root. On this problem, it only makes sense to pay attention to the positive square root because we know that we're going to be moving down the instant before we hit the ground, and that's our positive direction. So in this problem, we're not going to pay attention to the negative square root. On other problems, we might have to pay attention to the negative root or to both roots. You just have to think about the problem to decide which roots to pay attention to. We can use our calculator and we find that the positive square root of 1960 is approximately 44.3. Again, this is our positive root. And we can put in the units, meters per second. Now remember, this isn't quite the final answer because the way the question was phrased, they weren't really asking us for the velocity. When they ask you for um, how fast you're going, they're really asking for the speed because the velocity also includes the direction. But if you ask someone how fast you're going, you're not really specifically asking about the direction. So the speed would be indicated by the magnitude of the velocity. So again, we can use the symbol that I've made up, which is the dot. This is what the question is really asking us for. The speed is 44.3 meters per second. And since the speed is just a magnitude, it doesn't make sense to indicate a sign for the speed. So this would be a good answer. How fast were we moving the instant before we hit the ground? 44.3 meters per second. That was our, the magnitude of the final velocity. That was the speed.